Ross. Oh, oh, my, God. oh my God! Oh my God! Shalom, Israel. I want to give all praises to the happy Abinawi, Yahweh Lahayek, Yahweh Kai, by Shema Mashak, Yahweh Shai. Today's lesson is going to be going into the Hebrew word uh, Barak, dealing with the uh, sword of the Heavenly Father, all right, which is uh, Yahweh's sword, which we're going into um, the Hebrew word Barak, all right, it's the Hebrew word Barak, which is, um, yeah, the Hebrew word Barak is used for um, the Heavenly Father's sword, which is um, called a glittering sword, a flashing sword. Um, is used for the word um, glitter, glittering sword, bright, glittering, um, lightning, uh, a gleam, a flashing sword. All right, so that's what this is talking about. The Heavenly Father's uh, glittering sword is referring to lightning. And you can look up this uh, Hebrew word under in the Hebrew concordance under H1300 um, or uh, 1300. H1300 uh, is the Hebrew word Barak. Which is also used in um, H1299, all right, where you can uh, find the Hebrew word for lightning. Okay. So, yeah, like I was saying, this word uh, Barak in the Hebrew, it's a, a lightning, glittering, bright glitter, glittering sword, lightning, lightnings, lightning flashes, a flashing arrowhead, Barak. H from H uh, 1299 lightning by analogy a gleam concretely a flashing sword bright glittering sword lightning then you got um Genesinius Hebrew child D lexicon it says uh lightning man so um, I'm gonna show some verses to show examples of it as well and I'm gonna play some clips from um some videos of lightning being shot forth which is uh, an example of the Heavenly Father's glittering sword. So, uh, you know, get you some popcorn, get you some drink, you know what I'm saying, and, and enjoy. All right, Israel. So, this is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 41. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 41. It says, If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and I will reward them that hate me. And uh, you got examples of the Most High actually hitting uh, Caucasians, European Edomites with uh, with lightning bolts, man. And, um, you know, that's the Most High sword, you know what I'm saying, which it glitters because of the lightning flash. And also, um, this lightning is going to be used for the Lord's vengeance, Israel. You know what I'm saying? This is part of the, uh, the scriptures, man, that uh, lightning will be used to... Uh, judge these heathen nations and i also got a apocryphal book i want to bring out about the lord is going to use that lightning on these uh gentile nations man all right the most high sword man all right which is uh you know lightning is nothing but fire you know what i'm saying so um yeah the lord says he will reward them that hate him man all right saying when he with that glittering sword man and you know what i'm saying he come with that judgment it's terrible, man. The Most High is the terrible power, man. All right. Psalm 77 and 18, it says, uh, The voice of thy thunder was in the heaven. The lightnings lightened the world. The earth trembled and shook. All right, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 44, verse 6. Psalms 144, verse 6. It says, Cast forth lightning and scatter them shoot out thine arrows and destroy them so lightning in the in the scriptures is referred to as the most highest arrows man which will be used to destroy uh these heathens and and uh other things as well but mainly the most high is going to be using that that lightning man it even tell you that in isaiah slack it that it says uh you should be visited of the Lord of hosts with a uh, lightning. Let me see if I can get that real quick. Isaiah 29 and um, what's that? Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Isaiah 29 and 6, it says, 
Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. So these are all a part of the most high's judgment. No, I'm not this is going to be a long chapter 97, verse 4. It says, On His Monday, lightning, the right? That he's worth the lightning is the rock. His lightning enlightened the world. Oh my God. The earth saw and trembled. Man, I saw it in 97 before. And I got some more lightning. I also want to use. Uh, Habakkuk 3 and 11, it says, The sun and moon stood still in their habitations at the light of thine arrows. So, right? The Most High's uh, glittering sword, which is lightning, is called an arrow as well. It says, At the light of thine arrows they went, and at the shining of thy glittering spear, right? Which is known as an arrow. Okay. Um, at the. Um, it says, and at the shining of thy glittering spear, Let's see what else I got some on meat on here. Thou didst march through the land in indignation, thou didst thrust the heathen in anger. Thou wentest forth for the salvation of thy people, even for salvation with thine anointed. Thou woundest the head out of the, out of the house of the wicked by discovering the foundation unto the neck. Thou didst strike through with his staffs the head of his villages. They came out as a whirlwind to scatter me. Their rejoicing was as to devour the poor secretly. Thou didst walk through the sea with thine horses through the heaps of the great waters. Uh, when I heard, my belly trembled. My lips quivered at the, at the voice. Mine has entered my bones, and I trembled in myself, that I might rest in the day of trouble. When he cometh up unto the people, he will invade them with his troops. Although... The fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall the fruit be in the vines. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall not yield meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like hind's feet. He will make me to walk upon my high places. Chief singer on my string of instrument. instruments. So yeah, man. I want the point of that was uh Habakkuk three and eleven that um uh, that the light of thine arrows uh they went and at the shining of thy glittering spear. So the most high's uh glittering spear is also known as uh the light of thine arrows, uh, which is an arrow, which is lightning. Okay. Shalom measure all praise up now Allahika. You know what I'm saying, forgive me, man. I'm in my tent right now. The tent I made, you know, we do up in tents, but uh, you know, it's pretty cold right now. But um, this is gonna be out of the book of Zechariah, dealing with the um Barak of Yahweh. You know what I'm saying, the lightning of the Lord, which is gonna be uh Zechariah chapter nine verse fourteen it says, and the Lord shall be seen over them, and his arrow, his arrow shall go forth as the lightning right they're showing you the most highest arrows is that lightning and the lord god shall blow the trumpet and he shall go with whirlwinds of the south the lord of hosts shall defend them and they shall devour and subdue with sling stones and they shall drink and make a noise as the wine and they shall be filled like bowls and as the corner corners of the altar and the Lord their God shall save them in, the, in that day as the flock of his people. For they shall be as the stones of a crown, lifted up as an ensign upon his land. For how great is his goodness and how great is his beauty. Corn shall make the young man cheerful and new wine the maids. So yeah, man, the point of this is in Zechariah. Um, it's like it, Zechariah 9 and um. 14 man which says the lord is going to be seen over them talking about uh judah and ephraim man when uh the most high has the sons of zion go against the sons of greece man all right when we go in a battle against them the most high is going to also uh be 
be over us, man. Watching the battle, right? Before he deliver us, right? Dealing with all those race riots and all that other madness. And these heathens trying to come against us. It says, the Lord shall be seen over them. And his arrows shall go forth as the lightning, man. So the Lord's going to terror, ter terrorize these devils with lightning, man. It also tells you that he's going to visit them, visit uh, these Gentiles with thunder, man. I got an apocryphal book as well I want to bring out. As well, I'm about to might as well get this uh second Ezra chapter 16 as well. The second Ezra chapter 16, verse 1. It says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia, woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gut up yourselves with cloth of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. A sword is set upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, who may quench it. Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he? That may drive them away. May any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood? Or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when it have begun to burn? It says, May one turn again the arrow that is struck, shot up a strong archer. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? You know what I'm saying? Can't deal with the most eyes, uh, his glittering sword. It says, um, a fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings, Sirach 16 and 10, right? It says, he shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten the powder at his presence, right? It says, uh, the earth quaketh and the foundations thereof, the sea arises up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot in the ends of the world. All right, so that's that. this is the dealing with the Most High's arrows, man. You know what I'm saying? Which he, uh, the Most High be sending, uh, Thunder at these Gentiles and they'll be alive sometimes. But then there's times when he can shoot that lightning. And he can kill your ass, man. You know what I'm saying? The Most High is terrible, man. You know what I'm saying? And it says, strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp, man. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. A fire is kindled. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundations of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plague plague shall not shall that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. All right, so that's dealing with uh the Most High's arrow, man. That glittering sword is no no joke, man. He cast he shall cast lightnings who shall not fear, he shall thunder who, who shall not be afraid. You know what I'm saying they can't deal with that glittering sword, man. Shalom. All right, Shalom. This is going to be out of the Apocrypha book, The Ladder of Jacob, which I'm going to start at chapter 5, which it says, um, Thus he said unto me, You have seen a ladder with twelve steps, each step having two human faces, which kept changing their appearance. The ladder is this age, and the twelve steps are the periods of this age. But the twenty-four faces are the kings of the ungodly nations of this age. Under these kings, the children of your children and the generations of your sons will be interrogated. These will rise up against the iniquity of your grandsons, and this place will be made desolate by the four ascents through the sins of your grandsons, and around the property of your forefathers a palace will be built, a temple in the name of your God and the God of your fathers, and in the provocations of your children it will become deserted, by the four essence of this age. For you saw the uh, first four uh, uh, bus which were striking against the steps, angels ascending and descending, and the bus amid the steps. The Most High will raise up kings from the grandsons of your brother Esau, and they will receive all the nobles of the tribes of the earth. 
who will have maltreated your seed and they will be delivered into his hands and he will vex he will be vexed by them and he will hold them by force and rule over them and they will not be able to oppose him until the day when he his thought will go out against them to serve idols and to offer sacrifices of the dead he will do violence to all those in his kingdom who will be revealed in such guilt both to the highest man from your tribe and know Jacob that your descendants shall be exiles in a strange land and they shall they will afflict them with slavery and, and inflict wounds on them every day but the Lord will judge the people for whom they slave but the Lord will judge the people for whom they slave and when the king arises, judgment too will come upon that place. Then your seed Israel will go out of slavery to the nations who hold them by force. And they will be free from any rebuke of your enemies. For this king is the head of all revenge and retaliation against those who have done evil to you. Israel and the end of the age. For the bitter ones will arise. They will cry out and the Lord will hear them and accept their plea. And the mighty one will repent because of their sufferings. For the angels and archangels will hurl their bolts of lightning. See that going into the video about them lightning bolts, man, that thunder. It says, for the angels and archangels will hurl their bolts of lightning before them for the sake of of the salvation of your tribe. So angels is going to be shooting lightning at these Gentiles, man. All right. When uh, Israel is getting delivered. All right. It says for the angels and the archangels, that glittering sword will hurl their bolts of lightning before them for the sake of the salvation of your tribe. And you will gain the mercy of the most high. Then their wives will bear many children. And afterward, the Lord will fight for your tribe through great and terrible signs against those who made them slaves. Okay. So, yeah, that's it on that, man. And uh, I'm going to jump down. It says, and then your justice will be revealed, Jacob, and that of your children who are, be, are to be after you and who will walk in your justice. And then your seed will sound the horn and all the kingdom of Edom will perish together with all the peoples of Moab. All right, so that's it. That's it on that, man. The Most High is going to judge the kingdom of Edom and, and uh, the kingdom of Moab is going to perish, right? And the Lord is going to send earthquakes against them as well as the angels and archangels will hurl their bolts of lightning, all right? So that's what these heathens got to look for, man, that glittering sword. All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is Exodus chapter 9, verse 23 says, And Moses sent forth his rod toward heaven, and the Lord sent thunder in hell, and the fire, and the fire ran along upon the ground, and the Lord rained hell upon the land of Egypt. Right? So that's part of the plagues, like the Lord plagued ancient Egypt. He also used thunder, Israel. All right, that's uh, Exodus 9 and 23. Now I'm going to jump down to Exodus um, 9 and 29. And Moses said unto him, As soon as I am gone out of the city, I will spread abroad my hands unto the Lord, and the thunder shall cease. Neither shall there be any more hell, that thou mayest know how the earth is the Lord's. Here we have uh, 1 Samuel 2 and 10. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them, man. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth. He shall give strength unto his king. And exalt the horn of his anointing, man. So part of the Lord's judgments is that thunder, which is the Lord's glittering sword. Man. Okay. We even have an uh, example in uh, 1 Samuel 17. And Samuel was offering up a burnt offering. It says the Philistines drew near to the battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines and discomforted them. And they were smitten before Israel. So the Lord used thunder against the goddamn Philistines, man. All praise y'all, Allah Hayek, man. All right. Let's see what else we got. Uh, this is 
Ще седна. Няма да виждаш, ще седна. Okay, guys, Psalm 77 and 18 again. The voice of the Lord was in heaven. The, th the lightnings lightened the world. The earth trembled and shook. Uh, Isaiah 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake, great noise, with storm and tempest, and a flame of devouring fire. But yeah, the most high uses this thunder man to uh, play these heathens. Man. So I'll pray this to y'all, man. We got Revelation 16 and 18, and there were voices and thunders and lightnings and there was a great earthquake such as was not since man were upon the earth so mighty an earthquake and so great so that's part of the judgments man that glittering sword and them earthquakes man the most high got some cool for judgments that he ain't really released yet the lord be thundering but it's gonna come a time when them thunders he's gonna uh you know what i'm saying up uh uplift the power of them thunders man and show that they can even get even powerful man I remember one time, a couple of uh, summers ago, it had thunder uh, and uh, it was raining and thundered terribly, man. I thought the Lord was coming back that day at thunder so goddamn hard, man. So, uh, them thunders ain't no joke, man. It's real better stop sleeping on that thunder. Let me see if I got another one in the pocket, though. Okay. Give me this real. Uh, going through the spirit. So, uh. Wow. 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 Shit. Oh my God. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 21. Then show the right aiming thunderbolts go abroad. And from the clouds, as from a well drawn bow, they sh shall they fly to the mark, man. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna destroy those with the goddamn mark, man. They're going to fly to the mark, man. That's them thunderbolts, man. Let me see. Let me go to uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 21. He shall put on a righteousness as a breastplate in true judgment instead of a helmet. He shall take holiness for an invisible shield. His severe, his severe wrath shall he sharpen with a poor sword. And the world shall fight with him against the unwise. Then shall the right aiming thunderbolts go abroad and from the clouds. As from a well drawn bow, they shall fly to the mark. And hailstones full of wrath shall be cast out. Of a stone bow. And the waters of the sea shall rage against him, and the flood shall cruelly drown him. Yeah, a mighty wind shall stand up against him, like the storm shall blow them away. Thus, iniquity shall lay waste the whole earth, and ill dealing shall overthrow the throne of the mighty. All praise of my Lord. That's a good one. But the Lord did that in ancient Egypt, and he's going to plague the new Egypt just like he plagued ancient Egypt, man. Okay. We got uh, please ask kids forty six and seventeen, and the Lord thundered from heaven with a great noise, made his voice to be heard. Monday, the rain came again. Let's see if I got any more. The <laughs> thunder oh, was pretty God. mean. <laughs> Psalms 17 and 48, he gave up their cattle also to the hill and their flocks to hot thunder. You know what I'm saying? That's where they got all that Zeus madness. So showing you, man, you know, since the story of Zeus, they ain't do nothing but try to follow the, uh, try to follow uh what's in the bible but the most high is not zeus you know what i'm saying which that's folly you know what i'm saying the most high is not zeus but they did try to get the story from the bible okay let me see if i got another one
Fuck off. No, no. Oh! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Point to one more time. <laughs> oh, oh. Holy shit! This is the second Maccabees 10. Let's see what we're going to talk about it a little bit. Ooh, yeah, them chariots. See that? Them chariots. This is the second Maccabees 10 oh and 29. But when the battle waxed strong, there appeared unto the enemies from heaven five comely men upon horses with bridles of gold, and two of them led the Jews and took Maccabees betwixt them. And covered him on every side, weapons, and kept him safe, and shot arrows and lightnings against the enemies, so that being confounded with blindness and full of trouble, they were killed, man. So these was uh, angels, man, came and killed uh, the enemies of uh, Mac Judas Maccabees, man. This, you know what I'm saying? If I think I think this is Judas Maccabees, forgive me, but. You know what I'm saying? The context of the point is that the angels delivered this brother and they shot uh, their arrows, which was that lightning, man. So I'll praise y'all all the higher cut and uh, Lord willing, y'all was edified, man. So with that, all praise the Shalom.